Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time coming along, hello, my name is Jen. Make sure you hit that subscribe button before you leave. Today I'm gonna to talk about something that is very highly requested since I got it done back in May and that is my lip fillers. So I decided that I really, really, really wanted to get lip fillers. It's something I've been thinking about for years. It's always something I've been really conscious about my lips and I just decided to do it, bite the bullet. Just a little disclaimer alert before I start. I can already hear the people saying, but you know, you need to love yourself. Like why are you trying to change yourself? I did lip fillers for me. I did them because I wanted them. I'm 26 years old, I can make my own decisions and I am really, really happy with the results. So if I am happy, that should be all that matters. So if you feel like you wanna leave a comment telling me that I shouldn't change myself or lip fillers are bad or anything like that, just don't, <laughs> don't, don't bother because I don't care. <laughs> anyway. So as I was saying, it's something I'm really conscious about for a long, long time is my lips, especially my top lip. My top lip was like wavy and also when I smiled, flipped under. So I always wanted to get a little bit of filler in my top lips just to flip up my lip. So I'm gonna bring it a little bit closer so I can kind of show you the result that I got from my lip filler and then I will explain the process. So please excuse my lips right now. They're a little bit dry. Um, it is that change of weather season. So. I'm gonna just explain this the only way I know how. Obviously, my lips were quite straight and I'm gonna show a picture now. I'm gonna insert a picture of the way that my lips look like before when I smiled. Now, this is actually the before picture from my Invisalign. So, <laughs> my teeth are kinda straight now too. But, this was my lip. So as you can see, it's quite bumpy and uneven and flips under when I smile. Now when I smile, look who's got a top lip, yes! Now when I smile or when I laugh, you don't see my gums, you see my lips. So I'm really, really happy with the result that I got and I feel like I smile way more now. I feel so much more confident in my smile now and smiling all the time and you know, if you know me or you've watched some of my videos, I'm cracked so smiling is very important to me. So I'm gonna go through the process and how I kind of started, start to finish and before the fillers and everything like that. So stay tuned if you want to hear it. It's gonna be kind of a chatty, like story time style video um, because it's a, it's not a long process, but there's a lot to say. I had been thinking about this for ages, but when I actually decided to take the plunge and get the lip fillers, I was so nervous. I was so scared because I was like, what if it goes wrong? Like, what if I get trout out? Like, I'm so, so, so nervous. So I researched everything. I looked up everything online. I looked up best case scenario, worst case scenario, people who love their fillers, hate their fillers. And you know what? It got me nowhere. It got me absolutely nowhere looking up all this stuff online because I only made myself more nervous. So the best thing that I did was I actually spoke to a friend of mine, AJ, who has lip fillers. She's also a blogger. I'll leave her links down below. But I spoke to AJ about her filler experience and, you know, her before and her after and all these kind of tips and tricks. And to say it put my mind at ease was the understatement of this century. I felt so comfortable. I felt like I could have nearly given myself the fillers by the end of speaking to her. AJ told me that if I was prone to cold sores at all, that I could potentially get a cold sore after the lip fillers, because I suppose it's trauma to your lips. Your lips are kind of like, oh, and you always get cold sores when you're like run down or stressed or anything like that. So I took a preventative measure and I started taking, about 10 days before I got my fillers, I started taking this. This is lysine. It is an amino acid. This helps you not get cold sores. So if you ever feel the tingle of a cold sore or anything like that, take lysine and it should help it kind of not come up and keep it at bay. The second thing I was told, and I also saw this in lots of different videos, is that after you get your lip fillers, your lips can become really really chapped and really dry and uncomfortable and the last thing you need when your lips are a little bit sore is for your lips to be cracked or bleeding or peeling or anything like that. 
So this is the Dr. Lip um, Nipple Balm for lips. It is honest to God the best lip balm I've ever used. I use a really thick layer of it every night before I go to bed and I find that my lips always just remain so smooth. So I really, really love that. It's available in Space NK and it's about 15 euro, but it lasts you forever. So using the two of them, I actually didn't get any cold sores. My lips weren't dry, they were perfect. And I could just go about healing and massaging my lips like I was advised. So next step was obviously to go into therapy. You can get your consultation and your filler on the same day. It was all really, really calm. Everyone was so nice, everything is white. There's a fridge full of Diet Coke. There's water and coffee. They ask you to fill in a medical form, obviously, because it is a medical procedure. I was brought into a room with the doctor and the doctor that I was getting it done by, her name is Dr. Sarah Kate Quinlivan and she was a dentist for 10 years and she was working over in London and got into facial aesthetics and ended up working in injectables for the last eight years. So I trusted her a lot once I heard that. When you're getting things like this done, it's very important to go to someone who is very highly skilled in this area. Do not be going to your friend down the road who does it in her house. Please God, go to someone rep. We actually spoke about what results I would like to get from the lip filler. So whether it was evening out the lip, whether it was fullness or volume in a certain area. And together we came up with kind of a plan. And Sarah was able to advise me, Dr. Sarah Kate, um, was able to advise me on how much filler I needed to get. So I ended up getting a full mill of filler. Now some people get 0.5, some people get one, some people get like two, but they don't advise any more than two on your first go because your lips will just, your, your lips won't be able for it. You need to kind of ease that out. So I decided to go for one mill of filler. My top lip needed a lot more than my bottom lip. So we put 0.4, I can't do decimals. <laughs> so we did, three quarters of the mill in my top lip and we did a quarter of the mill in my bottom lip. So it was a very like easy procedure. I was surprised how little it hurt. So they give you a numbing cream beforehand so your lips are completely numb, like completely numb. And they tell you not to lick the numbing cream, you tell yourself not to lick the numbing cream and then you lick the numbing cream and then your whole tongue and your mouth is numb. But sure, look, these things happen. So the filler then they use is called Restylane and it is a derivative of hyaluronic acid. So that's really good because you're not going to get a reaction to it because your body is already creating hyaluronic acid. So that is why lip fillers fade after a certain amount of time. It's because the body is just absorbing the hyaluronic acid. So you needn't worry about any excess toxins or anything like that in your body. Another part then to the actual Restylane is there is numbing in the Restylane. So as she was injecting, my lips were just getting number and number and number and I couldn't really feel it. And the needle is like tiny, so small, and you can barely feel it going into your lip at all. The only place where it, oh, it killed me was right here. I have a scar going the whole way around my lip from when I was like four years old. My brother hit me with a fake rifle and it's a hard scar. It's an old scar and it's scar tissue. So Dr. Sarah Kate had to actually kind of break that with the filler. That was something else. Like that was so, so, so painful, but it was worth it. <laughs> and because once that was done, then nothing else felt that bad and nothing else was as painful. The whole procedure and the consultation took about 40 minutes. So I was out, I was surprised how fast I was out. Afterwards, my lips, were not that swollen at first and I went to Starbucks and I tried to drink my Starbucks with my straw and I was like Pfft. I couldn't purse my lips together at all my lips were so numb that I couldn't do this so that was not great but it was that evening that my lips started to swell and sweet divine did they swell. I want to insert a video here. This was before I went to bed the night I got my lip fillers done and I am giving Kris Jenner a run for her money. So it was really kind of trout pout and I was so nervous. I was like, oh my God, I have to go to work tomorrow. I was like, what is everyone going to think of me? They're going to laugh at me. But lucky enough, it had gone down a lot by the next morning. So 
I will show a video then of the next morning, just a little um, Snapchat video of me the next morning. So as you can see, they had gone down quite a bit. They were a little bit uneven at first to one side because there was more filler on one side and also where my scar had broken up, obviously it swelled a little bit more because it was a little bit more trauma. But it had completely all evened out within two days. So even if you got this done on a Friday, by Monday, girl, you are ready to go. You are on fleek. Your lips are on fleek. Um, to be honest, I kind of loved them when they were swollen. Like, I swear to God, I'd probably go back and get like four mils. That's a lie. But I would like really, really, really full lips because I just feel like I could take it, you know? Um, but I was really, really happy with the results. I couldn't believe the difference a mil, one mil made. Um, when she said a mil first, I was like, oh, whatever. Like, I was expecting like two and a half, three, but like my lips were so full and are still really full and this is three months on. So after you get the lip fillers done, it's just really important that you ice them and you massage them. So you just pinch them like this and kind of massage them along because this will make sure that the lip filler doesn't settle in any pockets in your lips or create any lumps or anything like that. And it all heals really, really nice. But the pricing I know is obviously something that you're all going to be very interested in. It is 295 for 0.5 mil. 395 for one mil, 700 for two mil, and 900 for three mil. So the more you get, like the lower it gets. And um, they do dermal fillers all over the face. So anywhere where you could think you could get fillers, you can get fuller fillers. And they also do Botox and they do a huge amount of treatments. They also do like your facials and things like that as well, like a regular kind of cosmeceutical salon. I couldn't recommend the staff in therapy more and even two weeks later I got a phone call just to make sure that everything was okay if I needed to come back to get anything corrected or anything like that and that's just their patient aftercare and um, so I'll definitely definitely go back I would love to actually film the treatment itself. Uh, Dr. Sarah Kate said there can be blood so it's a little bit like ugh but if I'm getting it done again I, I definitely will try to film it because I think you're a lot of you wanted to see it. I remember on Snapchat when I was trying to do it, um, but Dr. Sarah Kate said, look, this is your first time doing it. It's probably best not to Snapchat this. Just have the filler, you know, chill out so that I wasn't like holding my phone like, <laughs> so definitely if I'm going back again I will bring in the big guns and bring like a tripod with me and try to film the whole sitch and yeah so I really hope you liked this video and found it informative again I'm not telling anyone to get lip fillers I'm not telling anyone that they need lip fillers nobody needs lip fillers same way I don't need eyebrows I don't need this lipstick this foundation this kimono I don't need anything nobody needs anything but I wanted it so I got it so I'm so happy with it and four months on I'm still happy with it and I'm still seeing the effects so I'm definitely going to get it done again 100% and I'm definitely going to go back to therapy because I just felt really at ease and I felt that I was in professional hands and that's the most important part of getting something injected into your face you know what I'm saying so I really hope you enjoyed that video and I know it's going to be an absolute long one. I'm already at like 20 minutes here so I'm going to have to try and edit it down a little bit. <laughs> um, but if you have any further questions please ask them in, in the description box down below. I'm going to leave therapy clinics information down below also. They have a few clinics around the country. If you want to keep up with me on any other platform they are all linked down below as well. I look forward to speaking to you very, very soon. And thanks very much for watching. Bye.